Hello students, I hope you all are doing well. Today we will be doing chapter 3, Government. I'm sure all of you have heard or read about the government from people talking about or you will see in the newspaper government government has done something or government has uh, fixed the prices of something it's and all in this chapter we will be learning the details about who is this government and why it does all the works in the country but before we begin the chapter let us think or let us imagine what if there is no government if there is no government there will be no organization who would supply us for example like electricity and all and if there is no electricity in our houses it will be difficult for us and and also if there is a protest going on in the road and everywhere there will be no one to stop them or like uh, it will cause chaos and unpleasantness among the people or in the country so the government they they would resolve them and then uh, they would bring peace to everyone in the country the definition or what government means is the political system by which a country or community is administered and regulated and also government derives from the greek word kubernimos which means uh, to pilot a ship which are a means of transport in the waterways the ship as hip ship which means a ship represents a state then the government is the pilot and it guides people toward a better life and also to avoid from the crimes and wars and also the economic troubles the government uh, protect us from all those types of difficulties in the countries next is the function some functions of the government the first one to make laws and orders the government make laws and order in order to ensure the people or the citizens of the country a peaceful life and all and the people or the citizens of the country needs to follow the laws and order made by the government to improve the infrastructures of the country to raise the standard of a living of the people in the country the government plays an important role in improving the infrastructures they provide us access uh, roads electric cities mm, clean drinking water and health care if there are no health care we the citizens would be living in a difficult situations the next one to prevent crime the government also plays a very important role in preventing the crime the police who works for the government they would catch the criminals next is to protect the country from foreign invasions foreign invasion means the violations of a country's border through the use of military force so the government protect us from these types of foreign invasions uh, the next one to provide transport facilities uh, the government provide us transport facilities such as buses railways and airways to ensure economic development of the country the government also plays important role in developing the economy of the country the next one to provide educational institutions if there is no educational institutions we won't be learning all the necessaries in our lives so the government build us a school or colleges or universities the next is the level of government the first level of the government is the union or the central government union or the central government is at the center and it takes major decisions of the entire country it is the first level of government and the second one is the state government the state government is the second level of the government uh, and as a country is vast so it is divided into states and each state has its own government which control or which take uh, decisions in the particular states and it also if a state has a problem then on the state government solve its problem and the third one is the local self-government the local self-government looks after the local needs and this is the third level of the government union or central government 
the government at the center, and it takes measure decisions of governance of the entire country. State government, second level, or the state government, looks after the welfare of a particular state. Moving on next, government has different types. The first one is the monarchy, the next one, monarchy, and the next one is dictatorship, and the third one is democracy. Let's look at the details of monarchy. Monarchy means a country or, yes, a country which is ruled by a king. You will find in your textbook the example of a monarchy is given as Akbar. Akbar is one of the greatest monarchs of Akbar is one of the greatest monarchs in history. A monarch a monarchy or is a form of government which is headed by a king or a queen, which means that the country is controlled or looked after by a king or a queen. And it is a hereditary which means it passed down from generation to another generations. And in monarchs a monarch a monarch is assisted by a council of ministers. Next is dictatorship. Dictatorship means one person ruling the country. For example, Adolf Hitler and also in the modern world, the North Korea. It is a country where dictatorship still exists. Next is democracy. Democracy is like our country India, which is a form of government, which is which people elected their own president. And there are two types of democracy, direct and indirect democracy. Democracy is the most popular uh, form of government in the modern world. Next is universal adult franchise. What do you mean by universal adult franchise? It means that citizens of above the 18 years of age have the right to vote. Which means if you reach 18 years, then you have the right to vote in a elections. You can join in voting your own leader. Universal adult franchise is an important feature of democracy. Plays a very important role in the democracy form of government. And democracy is successful only when the citizens have the right to vote. It would be unfair if the citizen didn't vote and if they are directly elected, then it is not a democracy. In India, Citizens above the age of 18 years have the right to vote. Every country has different age, different age. In India, if you reach 18 years, then you have the right to vote. And this universal adult franchise was adopted as soon as the Indian constitution came into being. And also the first general elections held in the country in 1952 were based on the universal adult franchise. In democracy, there are no gender inequality, means like even the girls or the women have the right to vote in their elections. And answer the following questions in brief. This can carry to two markets. I'll be reading the answer and you listen them properly. Why is a government necessary? A government is necessary for the smooth functioning of any country or community. So number two. Why do we need a local government? We need a local government because the local people have a better knowledge of the problems in their localities and are aware of their local needs. 3. Discuss the origin of the word government. The word government comes from the Greek word kubernimos which means to pilot a ship. Ship represents a state. The government tries to guide its people towards a better life while avoiding problems such as war, crimes, and economic troubles. What form of government do you think dictatorship is? Dictatorship is a form of government in which all the power rests with one individual. Number five, what is universal adult franchise? Universal adult franchise means the right to vote for all adult citizens of the country. Thank you.